So how to sell anything to anybody by pushing people's buttons? How do you make people come to your store or website with their credit card in hand to purchase your product? It doesn't matter what product is being sold because the formula never changes. If you stick with the agenda and do exactly what the best marketers have done to produce six figures monthly incomes, you will know how to sell anything. Hello and welcome back to Wealthy Mind. Before we dive in, make sure to click the like button, subscribe and turn on the notifications. This one second action will really really help us grow so we can bring more videos for your pleasure. Alright, let's get started. The sale person is the primary differentiator in purchases today. As products and services become increasingly commoditized, buyers are aware they can get a similar offering from another company. But what they can't get from just any vendor is the same sales experience, which is created by the sales representative. Regardless of what industry you're in or what type of organizations you sell into, a few sales axioms hold. These rules can help you sell more to just about anybody, and in this video, we break them down into 7 pillars that we think are the most important in any sales experience. Number 1. Define your buyer. This might seem like a paradox, but the secret of selling anything to anybody is not attempting to sell just anything to just anybody. Whether you work in retail, auto sales, or B2B business, you will have far more success if you are familiar with the characteristics of your target buyers and thoroughly qualify each prospect against that matrix. This is called an ideal buyer profile, and it's like having a secret weapon. By finding the specific type of anybody who is just right for your product or service, you will avoid wasting time on poor fit leads. Instead, you will have more time to devote to buyers with a good chance of becoming customers. Number 2. Sell yourself. It can help you close a sale if the customer likes your personality as much as they enjoy the product. Selling yourself is important because it helps you communicate your own value. When clients see your value, they may be more likely to trust you and feel comfortable enough to buy from you. When you sell something, let the client get to know you a little bit by telling them an anecdote related to the product. Make them laugh or connecting with them on a common interest. Let them see you as a friendly person who is ready to help them. Number 3. Allow your prospect to test your product or service. People like to try things out, to touch them, to play with them. No matter what you sell, look for ways in which you can demonstrate your product. The important thing is to be sure that your prospect participates in the demonstration. This works better for some products or services than others, of course. But your odds of making a sale increase dramatically if you can have your prospects experience what it's like to own or use your product or service before asking them to pay for it. Number 4. Counter the buyer's hesitation. Clients may be hesitant before making their final decision to pay. You can leverage that hesitation by proving that you are the right seller. On your product or services promotional materials or selling documents, include awards or notable recognitions you or the product has had. In your presentation or meeting, show them testimonials to help them see how you have helped others in their situation. You can also leverage the hesitation by equipping yourself. You can have sales tools that help you conclude your sale as soon as the client seems ready to purchase. For example, suppose you carry a mobile payment tool. In that case, you can process customers' payment anywhere with a debit or credit card. Number 5. Know the customer's needs. Your product should have a target customer. You must know the sort of person for whom the product offers an ideal solution. In other words, you must know who the product is aimed at and what their needs are likely to be. To understand the customer's needs, you may need to ask some questions first. For instance, when selling a t-shirt, a customer may be looking for something to wear for a formal occasion or perhaps they are looking for something more casual. You want to ensure that the shirt you sell them is right for their needs. So you must identify the ways in which your product will satisfy the customer's needs because 
If you make a sale, you want the customer to feel they've got exactly what they wanted. You want to ensure that they get a good buying experience. You surely don't want them to feel like they've been cheated in some way. Number 6. Don't make too many compromises. The first reaction you may get from the buyer is, it's too many expensive. Your reflex should be to simply ask, why is it expensive? What are you comparing it to? The competitor's product may seem cheaper, but is it of the same quality? You have to stand your ground when you're asked to make compromises. This is why you should prepare your negotiation meeting in advance. Not resisting and making compromises immediately could mean that you have a poor product. If you make compromises without negotiating, the buyer may be suspicious. If the prospect is aware of the value of your product but still finds your price too expensive, you should open the conversation on other options. This will help you identify pain points that you can use during the negotiation to see where the buyer is ready to make trade-offs. Number 7. Overcome the fear of rejection. This is a challenge that every salesperson has to deal with. The truth is that you are going to get rejected multiple times in your selling efforts. Nobody in the world has 100% closing rate. To overcome this fear, identify what you can improve in your sales pitch. Doing this helps you to perfect your pitches. This way, you can start reducing the rejections to a minimum and also maximize your closing rate. This is a technique that is very helpful to entrepreneurs. The important takeaway from this video is that every business needs to make sales. They bring in the cash that is necessary for growth. Entrepreneurs need to have sales skills too. This is because they are the primary drivers for their enterprise. Therefore, they need to have good selling skills to generate revenue for their businesses. The techniques above can help them to accomplish this. They are instrumental in ensuring the overall success of a business venture. That's it for this video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to always catch our videos. We'll see you in the next one.